Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson of the course. This is just a preview of what we are going to accomplish here on the course. You can see we have a text, a very nice text, and it's three-dimensional of course, and it has a nice depth here, and you can see the reflections, you can see the shadows, you can see the lightning here on the text. So it's really cool and this is just a preview. We are going to change these colors, the colors of these objects, but this is just a preview so that you can see what we are going to create here on the course. You can see that I have, let me uncheck this camera, I have the studio. This is sort of like a studio here, some walls and some objects creating the light and this is all created by me so we're going to create this ourselves we're not going to use any plugin or anything or any downloadable object we're just going to use what the software brings to us but this is really interesting because not everyone knows how to create these 3d letters here on cinema 4d so i'm going to create a new file and I'm going to show you something. If you want a 3D letters here on Cinema 4D, you can either create a MoGraph and create go to Mo Text, and this will create. Wait a minute. This 3D text, and you can change this text to anything you want. You go to the Object tab here on Attributes and you can change the text to I don't know let me change this to testing and you just wait a little and you can see that we now have the 3D text and it's 3D does everything has depth you can change the depth here you can increase it or decrease it as you want and you can also change the font and this looks really nice but what if we want to bring a vector file to Cinema 4D and make it 3D is that possible and of course it is and that's what, what I'm going to teach you here on the course so I'm going to open Illustrator and you can see that this is the text that we're going to use this is a file from FreePick of course I made some changes to for the purpose of the course but this is a file from FreePick you can see that we have different fonts we have some lines here we have these nice objects and we have different fonts here on this typography kind of like a typography poster and this is the file that we're going to use to create the preview that I just so that you just saw here on the beginning of this lesson. Okay, let me go again to my new file. Now I'm going to show you something, but not with this vector file, but with something a little simpler. I'm going to create a new document here on Illustrator. Just click OK, doesn't matter the size of this file for now. And now I'm going to create a very simple shape. I don't know, maybe create a shape here like a star. And let me add some new points. Okay, kind of like this. And I'm going to take this file and I can just control C and control B on Cinema 4D. That's not how it works. If I want to bring this vector file to Cinema 4D, it's really simple. You just go and save your file, save it with any name that you want. Let me change this like vector file. Click on save. And now this is really important. When you see this window, the Illustrator Options window, you can see that the Illustrator is asking what version of Illustrator should he, he use for saving. So right now it's on Illustrator CC because that's the version that I have. But if I want this vector file to work on Cinema 4D, I have to, to save it as Illustrator 8. 
because that's the only way that Cinema 4D is going to be able to work with the vector files so I'm going to click OK just say OK here and now go to Cinema 4D again and now you're going to click on Merge and you're going to create the vector file click on open and now this new window will open it's called Adobe Illustrator import and now it's say, saying that scale is on 2 you can leave it on 2 and make sure that connect splines is selected now click OK and let's look for our file now we have these splines here let's bring it higher here and you can see that we have the star splines right now it's just a spline, it's just a simple line with nothing else and you can see here on, c on the objects panel that it's the, the software is looking at this vector file as just a single path so what we have to do now if we want to make it 3D is to select here on the generators which are here on the tool panel or just go to create generators and click on extrude now right now it's doing nothing because there is no other file attached to the extrude but if I take this vector file object the star object and drag it here drop it on top of the extrude we're going to make this vector file into a shell of this extrude object when I do that you can see that we now have a 3D object and if you click here on extrude you can increase the size of the depth increase the, the, the c-axis movement and now we have a 3D star so it's that simple it's really easy to import a file from Illustrator to Cinema 4D all you have to do is to be aware that the file must be saved as Illustrator 8 and of course you can create anything here on vector file and later you can extrude it you can create the text here let's create a text testing the extrude tool and we're going to convert to outline and I'm going to save this again to a vector file 2 remember on version you select Illustrator 8 now go again to Cinema 4D click on merge so that we can open it here on the same file click on merge and select your new file scale 2 connect splines perfect now let's take a look we now have the text here so if I create another extrude tool you can create it here you can see that when we imported this text it imported like a lot of path here we have a group which has all the path the T path, the E, the S, the T, the, I, the dot of the I, the N and the G and everything is separated so we can either go to and create several extrude objects and place every single path into every single extrude object or we can do it the easy way and just select all the path we have all the path selected right click and click on connect objects and delete that will make a single object and delete the rest of them now we have a single object just drop it here on the extrude and we have a 3D text so this is sort of like, like we're going to do 
to create the final image just like I showed you on the preview but of course we're going to make it a little bit more complex because we're going to if you take a look at the preview you can see that we have not only the text but we have sort of like a, a stroke here for the text and we're going to also change the colors for these objects on the side and this line so this will be a little bit more complex but don't worry I will teach you everything that you need to know to create that effect so let's go to the next lesson and let's start to create this amazing typography on 3D